Hello guys, it's Jigsaw here and today we are going to take a look at the last solo raid that they released in Just Do Mobile named The Last Contract. Now these are the bosses, we have Boss Deadshot, Catwoman, Red Hood, Enraged Bane and Deathstroke. And for the normal difficulty you only get one intergalactic orb which is the bomber and you get the god killer for free which is i believe one of the best artifacts that they actually can do that you can actually get from this uh, event and you get a bunch of gems and you have a chance of three percent in a lucky three star deathstroke from the soul raid let's fight a bit and see what are the bosses cheetahs deals increase damage over time and applies that after her specials unhinged harley queen deals increase damage over damage based on the fullness of her power bar she's also immune to power and not that op um grad applies that on stunned opponents from his specials he also has armor pierce immunity this is gonna be harder sub boss multiverse captain gold disables opponent special one you can break his combo only with your specials what what kind of weird all right let's fight the hardest boss and be done with it so i already got two of the new artifacts but i i think i got the worst of them so i'm not that excited about that uh i don't even i don't even have to play right because the fights are really really bad they are they are really weak the bosses so i got the rocket boots yay 70 something chance for tag attacks to be unblockable and deal double the damage and reduce the tagging cooldown jesus one of the worst artifacts in the whole game oh uh, not gonna lie uh not this one jesus man these artifacts compared to beta to worse so they are like a child's play uh this one was a bit more interesting but still dog shit an attempt to apply a negative effect on the word triggers the 11 second buff which prevents negative effects from being applied and recovers three power bars for every effect prevented buff has a 20 second cooldown uh 60 percent fast attack chance for seven seconds after successful specials this is not that great man I'm not excited about these artifacts at all, they are not going to do that much and the fights are already pretty easy overall. I'm looking forward for tier 4 and tier 5 to see what, what exactly are going to be the modifiers. Let's see the fast attack, if it works. Alright. Sort of. Get off my arm. Yeah, works like a like a fart. Fighting me. I'm the man of steel. Get off my arm. Well, that wasn't challenging, but wasn't fun at all. It could have definitely be better. Alright, so Cheetah is down. Sadly, we cannot, we cannot actually run through this event. We need to stick with 3 fights every 12 hours, so... It's gonna take a while until we actually reach Heroic 5, even if we actually won one shot, and uh, not Heroic 5, Difficulty 5. Uh, even if we on one shot every single boss. Calm, calm. Steve. 
I'm so sad that I didn't got the nunchucks because I thought those were, that's the only artifact worth having from this uh, from this event and others are pretty redundant you can live without them until we see the modifiers and see what what is required for every boss uh, you can say that most of the the artifacts are pretty redundant besides the nunchucks which are actually decent but even those don't seem to break the game like beta does all right let's finish this one as well interesting well, that wasn't hard at all so for the first difficulty i think nobody should have any issues defeating the the, the sub bosses they are very very easy only in the heroic you may may struggle a bit but we're going to wait and see the modifiers for the bosses like the sub bosses for tier one obviously they should they should be easy i really really want to see cat woman what are her modifiers if and if she has some immortality healing something like that uh, red hood may be kind of easy enraged I, I i think he he's immune to crit chance or something like that and some bosses definitely need to have some hazards there are no way they actually release bosses without hazards so that's it for the first preview, I mean, easy fights in the normal difficulty, everybody knows that. The amount of um, Promethean, artef Promethean artifacts that you can actually get are not amazing by any stretch of the imagination. And one thing I wanted to point out, they actually released packs with the artifacts. But the packs are like 50% off of the normal value of packs. Like, uh, you have the Artifact Recruit Bundle. Um, this one is 10 bucks, but it's up to level 5. Meanwhile, the Rise of Krypton Bundle was 20 bucks, but you could have get, got an Artifact uh, up to level 10. In Advent of Chaos, up, up to level 9 or still 10 something like that and that's why they cost it 20 bucks but now it's up to level 5 and it's 10 bucks it's much more reachable much more affordable than the others uh, because you may actually want to level 1 just to trial luck and you don't have to spend the full 20 dollars you can just try the 10 one and be done with it uh, and this one you get 300 gems for the same amount of 10 shards uh, 10 dollars uh, so i would say better go with this one because you may be kind of lucky and pull the level 5 artifact and in this one with 300 gems it's not going to make a difference at all in your your progress in this game so better trial luck with uh, with the one that has the highest potency which is the one with artifacts up to level 5 so that was the video guys um i hope you are enjoying this new solo raid and let me know what strategies are you going to use if boss deathstroke is going to be just like um like raven or cow superman that means immune to crits immune to lethals immune to everything damage cap because i'm i have a feeling that's going to be the case with uh with deathstroke as well that was the video for today guys take care peace